A Reason article revealed that despite the movie being highly praised, the making of Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse was an absolute nightmare. And those responsible are unfortunately the same guys who get the most credit for Spider-Verse, Phil Lord and Chris Miller. According to four anonymous animators who worked on the sequel, those two caused the production to become a toxic work environment. So you know when making movies, whenever there's a need to go and change things in the story, that's mostly reserved for the pre-production so that only the writers, the editors, and the story artists would go and handle that. However, when Phil Lord wants to do a story change, he makes it everyone's problem. He demands that every scene must be fully animated from start to finish, and only then does Phil determine if a scene is good or not for the final film. Which, more so than it doesn't, he throws all that hard work in the trash. In fact, it has happened that the animators had to fully develop a scene up to five times in a row just so that it could have Phil Lord's approval. 